Right, we'd like to tell you about the next generation of robotics. Ultra clever, ultra adaptable robots, modular robots. That's right. Now, all the robots that you see here have been built as single complete units, apart from the Robonova, which is Jason's personal robot. This is actually a collection of separate robotic modules, in this case, servo motors. Yeah, it comes as a kit, and I built it as a humanoid, um, but I could have chosen to assemble the parts into a dog, um, or a spider. And it's this adaptability which puts modular robotics at the cutting edge of robotic research right now. And Otis would know, because we just sent him over to the States, you lucky beggar, you. Uh, to check out some really clever modular robots. This is a robotic snake called Frostbite. He's the seventh generation of modular robotic snakes designed and developed by a team here at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh. In terms of hardware, Frostbite is not that complex. Each section or module of Frostbite contains a standard hobbyist servo motor, more typically found in remote control cars. But the magic is in Frostbite's bespoke software which controls how each module interacts with its neighbours to create different types of movement. And this robot's flexibility and movement is almost without limit. We got some amount of inspiration from um, normal biological snakes that you'll see in the wild. But that's not where we've, we've really designed our snakes from. We designed them just from intuition, from trial and error and seeing what we can make go across the ground and move in interesting ways. Now, I see a, a kind of sidewindy type motion. I used to do that when I, when I was a break dancer. What else has he got? Now, how brave are you? I'm reasonably brave. Do you want to stand right there by the snake? It doesn't bite, does it? It doesn't bite. <laughs> okay. We don't have fangs on it yet. Okay. One <laughs> That's really creepy. <laughs> That's really... <laughs> Frostbite is purely a research tool at the moment, allowing the team to explore the possibilities of modular robots. But with the camera now mounted in its head, the team are starting to realise the true potential of their creation. OK, so Matt, what would the applications of a, of a, <laughs> of a device like this be? So, so you can imagine there's tons of different ways this thing can move. So you can imagine it moving through rubble, moving across fields, but you can also imagine, you saw how it just climbed up your leg, which yeah. doesn't have just a definite shape like a, a standard tube. So you can imagine this going up flagpoles, going up pipes to inspect like power plants, or yep. um, maybe even diving down in a shaft to a mine so they can uh, do search and rescue efforts down in, in a mine. Frostbite is a brilliantly clever modular robot. But 300 miles away at Pennsylvania University, the robotics team there have taken the concept one huge step further, creating a robot that can build itself. And to demonstrate this, they actually asked me to break their creation. You can kick it pretty hard just from the side. From the side, yep. OK. Life. Breathe. Amazingly, straight away, the modules started looking for each other. So now those two clusters are going to turn around yep. to try and find each other. In addition to two small computers, each module contains a flashing LED and camera. The LED blinks with a unique pattern which the other module's cameras are programmed to look for. Once a module has worked out where the other modules are, they slowly inch towards each other using the flashing LEDs to calculate their relative proximity. The basic idea here is to build teams of robots that you could buy by the bushel. So in the future, you'll, you won't buy a particular robot for sweeping your house or for cleaning your bathroom. You would buy uh, 10 pounds of robots and they would come into your house and they would configure themselves in different ways to do different jobs. And are we looking at the, the final docking about to happen now? That's right. OK. So two of the clusters have already docked. Yep. And the third cluster is now going to join. Look, 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 they're about to connect. Ah! Oh! The concept is brilliant. These small robot molecules can put themselves together like Lego bricks in a whole range of different ways to build a whole load of bigger robots. With the modules connected, magnets hold them together. Small additional infrared LEDs allow the modules to communicate with each other so they can then work out how to form their final shape. It feels like I'm watching a special effect from a movie. Don't look at me, look at that, it's so creepy, look, look! That's fantastic. <laughs> God, that was just 
Mind blowing. Yeah. I'm I'm now the modular guy. Okay. <laughs> I'm totally into modular robotics. Okay. As you can see, the technology isn't quite there yet, but the potential for its application, in spe especially in areas like search and rescue, is really encouraging. I can imagine. <laughs>